So I wanted to get you on the show because without sports, it has been difficult to follow something drama-filled. I mean, normally I'd be watching the NBA Finals. I'd be trying to figure out these inside stories. I'd, I'd be rooting for my team, whatever it is. And so much of the world has taken that energy and focused it in on what's going on on YouTube and Twitch and really cancel culture in general. But boy, has YouTube and streaming been uh, really front and center for it. And and I, I wanted to start by talking about Dr. Disrespect, which is a name I didn't even know until last week when I'm just searching for anything on the internet to follow. Can you explain to me how... I, this is what I think. I, I just saw him two weeks ago. This is like if Joe Dirt won an Oscar... It's like, this is like if Ali G was actually an incredible rapper. It, this dude's in character. Yeah. He's doing sort of like this mullet and mustache vibe thing going on, kind of like an Al Unser NASCAR look. Yeah. But he's also very good at video gaming and streaming mm-hmm. it on Twitch. So so tell me about him and then why we hate him. Uh, yes. So um, look, so Dr. Disrespect is, uh, you know, if you've signed on to the internet within the last couple of weeks, you were greeted with the, with a very menacing face. And this is a guy who has a mullet, um, very, you know, Nolan Ryan-esque reflective sunglasses, a a headset. And um, no one knows who he is. I have friends asking me. And, you know, again, a a man my age, I actually know who he is and I'm I'm not proud of it, but I will do my best to explain. Thank you. Dr. Disrespect is a Twitch streaming personality. He's actually among what I consider to be one of the the higher tier quality yeah. content uh, creators on the site. He is a very interesting mix of persona, a character with um, a skill in playing video games. Oftentimes on Twitch, you have people that are just a persona or personality and they, they just talk to their audience. And then you have people that are just kind of skill-based. Um, in my opinion, that would be somebody like a Shroud mm-hmm. who is very good at the game maybe on the personality side, not as vibrant, but still attracts a viewership because people want to see how people play games at a high level. He, he's the Kawhi Leonard of, of, of Twitch. Yes. Right. Um, baseball, right? <laughs> and uh, so, so Dr. Disrespect is a perfect mix of a high quality game player with an incredible persona, with an incredible production value to to kind of tie it all together. Mm-hmm. And he's been doing it for the last five or six years, and he's amassed millions of followers on the site. Yeah, 4.4 million. Yes. He is repped by CAA. He has a two a, a large two-year deal with Twitch. Mountain Dew sponsorship, supposedly the largest ever by an individual gaming personality. Monstrous for the platform, even for the business of Twitch. He is a, a big earner. Yes, he's so big... Um, that he can anytime he streams, you know, he's automatically uh, at the top of the top list of streamers, and and sure. and he can move audiences, and and there's been a lot of talk about him getting paid money to potentially move off site, and that's what uh, streamers like Shroud and Ninja, the Fortnite player, who uh, Drake ended up kind of promoting, and and he ended up blowing up, but these guys have such a power to move audience. It's now I should probably tell people how much these guys make just so you can kind of see why it's important and why people care. I mean, on Twitch, there are four ways to make money there's donations, so your viewers that are watching can directly donate money to you. Mm -hmm. That money is just it comes in the form of like, hey, this person donated, here's a message they said in hopes that Dr. Disrespect or somebody says it on their stream. So you get that sort of acknowledgement. It's a tip. Absolutely. It's a tip. Mm-hmm. The other uh, form is through subscriptions. Subscriptions are kind of where you get the bulk of it. Now, every month, somebody can subscribe to your Twitch channel. And at the very minimum, it's $5 a month and it goes up to $25 a month. Somebody like Dr. Disrespect has around 50,000 Twitch subscribers. Wow. So that times at least five. And then you have ad revenue through Twitch. So advertisers pay Twitch to advertise 30 second pre roll ads or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then they share that revenue with the creators. And then you also have sponsorships. These guys will get paid money from the developers and the video game companies to play their games sure. per hour. And that per hour can be anywhere from $1,000 to $10,000 wow. just to play a game. So on the on the high end, like somebody like a ninja, 
could make potentially half a million dollars a month or more. Right. And somebody like right. Dr. Disrespect probably makes somewhere between $100,000, $200,000 a month. Mm-hmm. That's why when Mixer poached Ninja and Shroud, these deals were worth up to $30 million for like a three-year deal because Unreal. these guys had to be incentivized to move and completely take their audience with them. Otherwise, they're doing just fine where they're at. So that's important to keep in mind because to get someone off of Twitch that is that caliber, that is that high on the tier, would cost a lot of money normally. Losing that audience, losing that base, losing that ability would cost a lot of money. So when Dr. Disrespect, a a, a toxic gamer personality, that is kind of what he's known for, being over the top and and, uh, rambunctious and kind of almost making fun of troll culture a bit from what I've seen. Yeah, absolutely. So when he gets probably permanently banned from Twitch out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, people who went to go watch him noticed that his account was taken off the site. He is he is reporting and telling people he doesn't know why. I, that's the drama I was brought into, that a guy could lose millions and millions of dollars overnight and not know why. Right. So there's not a lot of clarity. There's just a lot of speculation. Now, Dr. Disrespect in the past was suspended from Twitch because he was live streaming at E3 and happened to walk into a public bathroom, right. which is a no-no. Oh, we don't stream yeah. PP. And sure. uh, they they banned him for, I think, um, a couple weeks. There was also a, a personal moment for him before that where he was kind of caught um, cheating on his spouse with uh, a viewer Mm -hmm. and that turned into a thing where he took a leave of absence and then ended up coming back bigger than ever. His audiences, they are so into the fact that he plays into the, this actual persona that when the real guy, his name's Guy Beam, when the real guy does things that fit into the persona, it only like amplifies and snowballs his viewership. So when he came back from the accusations of cheating on his wife, his viewership had like doubled the first week. Yeah. And then when he came back from the Twitch ban from uh, uh, streaming PP, he came Mm -hmm. back even stronger. So now the reason this is different is it's supposedly a permanent ban. There is no reasons why Twitch has banned people in the past before um, permanently without telling them exactly why. They'll just refer to their terms of service and their guidelines as sure. being violated. The rumors are, and I don't know how, you know, people that actually know what's going on are the people on the inside that work at Twitch. Everyone else is just assuming. Right. There are some rumors that Spotify wants to open up their own um, live streaming site. There's talk that maybe Dr. Disrespect was trying to recruit other streamers to go off platform mm-hmm. to another site. Okay. I don't know how valid that is, but Spotify has been making deals with people like Joe Rogan in the podcast world. So it would make sense they would try and cover the live streaming side of this as well and gaming. Um, there's also just, it could be some rumors about charity. There's a lot of times these guys do charity streams where they raise money for charities. A couple times I've heard that um, there's been some back end money that's been kept or um, not all the money was donated. There's kind of kind of that gray area there. No one knows at this point. His right. entire subreddit is going crazy. No one seems to be upset in any way. They just want to know when he's coming back. 